might be an open space or the cars that are around you, like somebody just moved into your blind spot. It gives you another thing to check. Like you feel like you have no blind spot. Even though I've heard some people say that there may be one, like with the, with the configuration of the cameras. Um, it makes you kind of a fan of the way that company runs a lot of things. For example, I've heard that they don't spend money on advertising and at shareholder meetings, CEO Elon Musk has even been asked like repeatedly, when are we going to like advertise so that we can like, you know, do more marketing so that we can make a lot more money, you know, get the word out about these cars. And I work in marketing and I'm a big fan of marketing, but th there's another thing like this feature using those cameras that my girlfriend told me about, saw it on TikTok. Um, you drive this car through a funeral, uh, not a funeral, through um, a cemetery at night. And we never tried it in the day, but we went at night. And you see, instead of like the vehicles all over the place and just people passing, you see images like of various animals and, and people like almost like ghosts uh, flashing in and out on your cameras just to freak you out and make, it, make you have a little fun and a, and a little bit of a thrill, possibly maybe when you first get the car or when you're giving somebody a tour of it for the first time. Um, there's another feature that, that was just a lot of fun. There's a feature called the light show, which is a blast to do, um, which coordinates the lights and a couple of other things on the car to music. Uh, there's a, a beatboxing machine where you can make little beats like a synthesizer that's contained right there on the, on the interface. Um, there's a fart button bunch of digital whoopee cushions that you can move around the cabin to make this seat or that seat uh, appear to have farted in <laughs> several different uh, styles of farting. These features took clearly talented design teams and, and uh, build outs and development and it wasn't cheap. It's not free to say, hey guys, we got this car and everything works great. Now I want to make sure that it, when you take it through the cemetery, it, it does this little entertaining thing. Or now I want to make sure that it has a whoopee cushion, digital whoopee cushion. Not only that, but varieties of whoopee cushion of sounds and that you can move it around throughout the seats. And make, it, make the lights all um, dance around and do a coordinated whole thing. Those were not free. Somebody had to design those but they're all things that I've heard about, like that somebody told me about how cool, how impressive they were. So the type of marketing that I've done is um, like for a job um, and advertising is we throw a lot of money to have somebody get the word out about, about a product. And it, I mean, geez, a lot of money. We'd spend a lot of money doing that. I don't know if it was like marketing tactics or advertising tactics. Um, for Tesla, but a lot of the features they have were like free advertising. I mean, how, how are you gonna use some of these things and not tell somebody about it, not be excited about it when you're not, you know, when your kids are so pumped to see some of these things and, and go experiment with them and they put them on TikTok and they put them on Instagram and it's viral and it's free. When they say like, we, know, we don't even advertise. I mean, I, I put in some of that development money as like, that's kind of advertisement. Um, and it's a, it's a cool way to not only have fun, but um, to make a more robust experience that people talk about. Um, the Chevrolet Bolt didn't seem to have a whole lot of fun. Uh, it was, like I said, it was really, really nice. But, um, you know, it doesn't have a fart.